For Jake, for Jimmy and Steve, it's more than a game, more than just football. I think it's the fact that they get it. And I know that's quite simple, but most people don't understand what it's like to lose a child. You get to put on your baby's shirt and your baby's name, you get to play in their honour, and that's massive. That 90 minutes, whatever it is that I'm on the field, I play 120% for him because he'll never get to kick a ball. You know, <laughs> he'll... I'll never know what he looked like or anything. Jimmy and his partner lost their little boy Alfie at 28 weeks. We went into the hospital and we knew straight away. When the scanner looked at us, we just spent four days hugging. It's all you can do, you just be there for one another. Um, for myself, I tried to be the strong one. I think a lot of men tried to be strong and I kept everything in. After finding support online from others experiencing the same heartbreak, they decided to club together and Angels United was formed. It's given me a purpose again and it's made me realise you're not on your own, you're not the only person who's, that it's happening to. Steve and his partner have also been through a number of miscarriages. All the names on the shirt are not actually our names, it's, it's the names of all the children that we've lost and the babies. Uh, my shirt says Arlo, which is because we've had six miscarriages. Uh, it's always remember little ones, but we probably will name Arlo if we have a little boy in the future. One of the club's newest members is Jake. His little girl Lily May died last summer from cancer. She was a little princess. Um, cheeky, funny, um, full of character. She was so loud, uh, loved being centre of attention. She was an absolute angel when she was here and, you know, she's, she's an angel now. Hi guys, I'm over here. <laughs> if we're having a bad day, we know that every other member of that team truly understands what we're going through. No one who I've come across it in, in my life before angels knows what it's like to to sit in a room with all of Lily's things, but without Lily. I know that we still have a can of beans and sausage because that was the last thing that Lily asked for to eat. And so we can't get rid of that can. That'll sit in our cupboard forever. Some people don't want to talk about Lily because they think it might be a trigger, it might upset me, but Actually, I want to talk about her because she's still my daughter. You know, she's... It's just that we can't make any new memories, but I can still look at all the old memories with joy and regardless of the fact that sometimes I might get upset. You know, the next day the same conversation might fill me with joy and that's, that's just part of the process. This month, the club turns one and as part of Baby Loss Awareness Week, we join them for a special memorial match. They've teamed up with Sands United, another team brought together by Bereavement. Because of what this week represents, I think it'll touch base with a lot of players. To have another team that are celebrating our, our children means everything to everybody on this pitch. Before kick-off, a minute's silence is held to remember all their lost little ones. Just being on the pitch with people that have gone through the same things as you, it makes you feel whole again and it gives you a purpose again. And I think that's what we've all needed and that's why we're all here to support each other. It's not just playing football, it's also the, the family side and involving the partners, the other children, extended family in this club as well, which means just so much to everyone involved. I hope that there's a dad out there today that's watching that will be, that'll be inclined to, to give, us a, give us a call, give us a message on Facebook. It's 30 lads that will text you, will ring you and just see how you are. Katie Wilderman, BBC Northwest tonight.